Okay, this is an After Effects tutorial, and we are going to be making. Uh, we're going to replicate this lower third. So let's take a look. Okay, so. We, uh, we're going to do this. We're not going to use the lens, lens flares. Um, on this computer, I don't have any third-party lens flare uh, applications. So if you have uh, Null Light Factory or Video Copilot uh, optical flares, then it would be fairly simple for you to add these flares in. But I am not going to do that. Otherwise, we're going to whip this out in After Effects. So um, basically it's a two-part. It comes on and the main title here stays on for a little bit and then it goes out and then there's a secondary title here. So let's go ahead and get started in After Effects. So the first thing I'm going to do is make a new composition composition, new composition, and we will call this main, and I'm using NTSC DV. Uh, that is what I use in instructional television, and so that's most of my projects do use that, uh, oh, that terrible DV <laughs> composition. So let's go ahead. Okay and we have our comp here and let's go ahead and get started a lot of what I'm going to be using is the uh, shape tool so I don't have any layers so I don't have to worry about what's selected let's grab our rectangle tool and we're just going to draw out, I'm going to bring up my title safe uh, action safe areas and we're just going to draw out our main background, uh, the blue background here, and that'll work for me. I am going to bring up my fill options and I want a linear gradient. Click OK. I'm going to grab my selection tool and then you'll see that I get the uh, Oh, I'm sorry. Um, backup. Backup, backup, backup. Fill. I want this to be a solid fill. The stroke, I want to be a linear gradient. Um, so I'm going to click on my stroke options. It is already a linear gradient. So I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click on the color for that. And I'm going to use. Uh, I'm going to start with this, but I'm going to make it quite a bit lighter. Um, and then it's going to end up something like this. Um, so just a very subtle linear gradient and I also want it to be lighter on the top and come down to the darker color so I'm going to do that with my uh, for my stroke alright so that piece is looking pretty good um, what I'm going to do here is use a couple different layers. If you look at the example, it's got this white on it here. So we're going to use a new solid. We're going to make it a white solid. And I'm going to actually duplicate that layer to use as a uh, use as a track mat to get that faded. Um, gradient look to the white. If we look at our example you can see it kind of fades fades down there. So let's take our white solid here. I'm going to turn off the track mat 
piece that I'm going to use and we're going to take our transparency turn it down and I'm going to draw out a rectangular mask for this and a little more than halfway that will work there and I'm going to bring up the transparency to 100%. Now I will end up dropping this back down, but for now we're going to do that. I'm going to turn back on this layer, bring up my transparency because I need to see what I'm doing. And I need this to be um, nice and tall. And I'm going to go a little wider also. Not that that's going to matter. And going to start like that and I'm going to uh, let's see MM to bring up my mask feather and I want this to feather a little bit so I'm going to bring up my I'm going to hold shift and bring my transparency down here and let's go ahead and set this as my track mat for the white solid so if you don't see track mat here then go ahead and change your modes and I'm going to use the Luma mat of the white solid one. So there we go. And now you can see that I'm getting a solid, uh, solid white, and then it's fading out. Um, if you need to, you can always take your layer above it, and you can see that you can change that uh, how fast it feathers out and whatnot and actually I'm gonna turn up my feather a little bit here I think and so that's pretty good I'm gonna take this layer and turn down its opacity and 70 let's go with 70 and then let's look at our example so um, The blue's a little bit off. Their blue has a little bit more green in it, but um, I'm not going to worry too much. Uh, what the hey? Might as well change it while we're in here. So they're adding a little bit more green to that. Maybe a little too much. that's a little better matching on the color and so that is our first element and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pre comp this so I'm gonna select all three of my layers shift command C and I'm going to call this uh, large blue background and this is my large blue background. Um, I am going to go into that and I'm going to take my uh, these two layers and I'm going to nudge them up just a tiny bit. Um, and so that that's a little less of a border there. And that looks better. Okay, so come back out to our main comp, and I'm going to make the smaller blue this one here. So let's go ahead, and I'm going to duplicate um, this layer, but I'm going to do it up here in the project area. So Command D, and then I'm going to rename it small. blue comp or blue background so small blue background so now I have my small blue background and my large blue background and let's see I want my small blue background to come down oh, what did I do grab my my large so I want my small and my large and my small needs to get resized and it needs to be roughly here let's take a look back at our example 
example and now remember we're at the second piece here so so we're we are right about here I'm going to go into my large blue background. I'm going to select all of these layers and can I do this? I'm going to make them all a little longer. And go back to my main comp. Okay. All right, so I've got those two blue pieces, and let's go ahead now and work on this black background. That should be easy enough. Uh, make sure I don't have any layers selected. Go up here, and I'm going to start up here and drag out my black background. I need to change the color to black and it has a stroke but the stroke is the wrong color so I'm going to grab and make a gray to darker gray. Um, I don't want it completely black but pretty close and so that is what we have. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit I don't like the way this is lining up. Um, one thing also, I think I want to change the color. I mean the, uh, let's see here, the contents, rectangle, gradient, stroke. Yes, I want a stroke of one pixel. And I'm going to need to do that inside my large blue comp as well shape layer, contents, rectangle one, gradient, yes. So which means I will also need to do that in my other comp two, uh, rectangle one, gradient, stroke width one. Go back to my main and now I have uh, some smaller borders there and that is what I want. I can see here that I need to adjust my shape layer here and I'll start by just nudging it down a little bit and that's better lined up and turn off my title safe. It's kind of getting in the way. Let's see if I can alter the shape here just a little bit. That's better. Okay. So here is my lower third and I don't have any animation on it yet. So why don't we go ahead and uh, lay out our text and then we will worry about the animation. So I'm just gonna say main title and bring this down If I could spell. There we go. All right, and then we'll make our other text layer, and this one we'll just put www. Uh, TV show. Com slash information. Just put some silly website on here double click on my layer down here we'll select all the text and I need to shrink that way down alright um, I'm also going to double click on my main title and bring this size up a little bit now of course what your main title says it might be longer than this so you need to uh, make that appropriately sized for what you're working on. 
and I am going to move this up. Um, I want it lining up on the edge there, so we'll just come over. Went a little too far. That's better. I do want a little bit of a space in here. I'm going to turn back on my title safe. Um, I can bring it down and that looks better. But I need to change the color and it was kind of a yellowish color. So we'll grab a yellow color and let's look at our example. So. Um, So their font is a little bulkier than ours. Um, let's see for that main title. Let's see if we can go with a bold. That's better. So that looks a little better. Not bad. Um, this shape layer needs to be increased and that is our small blue background so I'm gonna make that a little longer and just nudge that into place there we go that's better we need to add our your watching text here so I'm just going to take this one and we will duplicate it. It's about this, the right size I need. Holding down shift, I will nudge it up there. I'm going to double click on it and say your you're watching Arr. I want this all caps okay and we'll have to bring the size down a little bit um, and I think I'm gonna have to nudge that over just a little bit And I'm going to take my uh, tracking and just bring it in a little tiny bit. And that looks better. And then change the color to white. All right, so there you have it. Ah. So I'm going to zoom out a little more. So that is our lower third. Let's start animating. Now, let's go back and look at our example. And you can see that most of our animation is scaling. So if we come here, I'm just going to go frame by frame here. And you see that first, the black background here animates on. Of course, it starts out with a little bit of a lens flare and then animates on. And then right after, it gets to full size the main title starts animating on and they're both animating the scale from this corner so if you look see they're both animating from this corner so and then once right after the text starts scaling up from that corner you can see here this is popping up and then this is popping up as well now this one uh, this 
this large blue background is animating from this corner and this smaller little blue background is animating from right here. You can see it's getting bigger. So um, another thing that happens with the text here is not only is it scaling from this corner, as you can see it's smaller, it's also uh, looks like there's a mask animating on it that comes up. So we're going to uh, work on that. And so let's get animating. All right, so we're going to start with the large blue background. And it's animating from right here. So what we need to do is use our pan behind tool. And we need to move our anchor point to here. So I'm going to zoom in and just make sure that that anchor point is right here on the corner. And that's good. And we're going to start off, um, we'll start off at 15 frames. <clears throat> I'm going to go to my scale, hit my stopwatch. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> hit my stopwatch. <coughs> and then I'm going to drop my scale down to zero. And then I'm going to go out, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven frames. Um, seven frames I think will be good. It happens pretty quick. And we'll scale that up to 100%. So if we just do a quick RAM preview, you'll see there is the background. Okay. And I'm going to move my play range so that when I do my RAM previews I'm only seeing that tiny little part there. Okay. So that one is scaled. Um, let's go for our uh, black background and let's rename that. We'll call this main title background. Um, oh, should I pre-comp it? I don't see a reason to do so, so we're just going to bring up the scale property. And I'm going to zoom in so I'm seeing things a little closer here. And I want it to be at full size a little bit before the blue starts. So I'm going to go here, make my keyframe of 100%, and I'm going to go back one, two, three, four, five, maybe six, and make that zero. All right, so one thing I didn't do is I need my pan behind tool and I need you scaling from over this way buddy mm. so we'll move that anchor point there and we messed up so I'm going to back up and I'm gonna get rid of this scale keyframe. I'm going to move my anchor point first. And that's pretty close to that corner. And so let's figure out where our blue is coming out again. So there it's starting to pop out. I'm going to go backwards one, two, three, uh, four frames. And do scale here. And then we're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, six frames. And we want to be at zero. Let's RAM preview that. So this one goes. Now it does look like there's a, a moment of like a stutter here, 
but actually what's going to happen is my main title text is going to be moving so that's what we're doing there so let's go ahead and grab my main title and I actually want to wrap my main title and the website into a pre-comp so shift grab my other one I'm gonna go shift command C I'm going to call this main title and I'm going to take this I'm going to move my uh, anchor point to the corner here right about there and I want to come to the point let's see one so that's good there I'm gonna take the main title go to shift uh, go to scale make a keyframe for 0% here and then go a few frames and make that 100%. So that happens pretty quick. Um, but I don't want this to be. Actually, you know what? I could go another frame. Let's go one more frame. So I'm going to move this keyframe down and I'm going to hold Shift so it just snaps to my playhead there. So let's go ahead, take a RAM preview. So now, this stutter that I was talking about a moment ago isn't as uh, it isn't as bad because this is actually coming up. So it kind of stops that from doing that, and we are looking pretty good. So let's go back in here, and we need to find the frame where the blue starts poking out. So right there it's not there and right there it is so we're gonna start on this frame and we're going to take our small blue background and we're gonna animate this so I want to bring up uh, the pan behind tool and I want it to scale from this corner here um, but first, what I'm going to do is animate the, uh, no, no, this is just the background. So I'm going to bring up scale and I'm going to make a keyframe at, uh, I'm going to bring this keyframe out a little bit because that's my, my ending keyframe. This keyframe I want to be zero there we go so now you see uh, let's back out that one takes a little bit longer let's go back to our example and so here it doesn't take a little longer but the text does so let's take this keyframe and we'll just drag it in a little bit because we want it to stop right about the same time so we need to come in another frame there we go so now the two blue backgrounds end one of them's one frame off but uh, they're both ending right there and if your eye can catch that one frame well then you're pretty good so alrighty now all we have left is this uh, little you're watching text up here and what I'm gonna do is pre-comp this uh, shift command C and we will call this uh, just you're watching is fine click OK and I'm gonna go inside of it because I need to mask out the text so we will be masking this text out and I'm going a little extra here because we're gonna end up feathering that 
and I'm going to grab my mask and I want to animate my mask path. Um, now I did not move my playhead. Um, I'm going to need to line up these keyframes and make sure that they're good when I get back in there, but um, let's see, I want to come forward a little bit and I'm going to animate this mask path and I want to feather that so let's go back to our main comp and see how that works okay so see there the the mask is animating and that's what we want but we want it to happen a little bit later in time so you're watching I'm gonna grab these keyframes and move them down a few frames and go back to the main. There we go. So boom. All right. Um, and actually, you're watching. I want the first one. I want it to happen a little bit slower, but I want it to start a little sooner. So let's see here because remember we need to see the the Y as it starts scaling up here so you're watching one more frame this way and so now we need to animate the scale of this composition using my pan behind tool one more time I'll move my anchor point to this corner and we're going to bring up the scale and back here where this is zero I want this to be zero and set a keyframe and that one ends there um, let's go to my small and just make sure that I'm getting that at the right time and then we will make uh, this 100% Okay, so now you'll see here that my text is animating scale and it's fading on. And I think we're done with those animations. So let's move this down a little bit. We're at 100%. Let's take a look. Alright, I am going to just fix one little tidbit here and I'm going to slide this out a little bit. I want it to be a little slower with that fade on. Whoops. Uh, main comp. Just so the eye can actually see it fading on. Okay, so that looks uh, pretty accurate. Um, <coughs> Now remember in here they are using the lens flares to kind of add to it. There's there's one right here where it starts to come on and then there's another one here where the text starts to come on. So if you're adding lens flares now would probably be the time that you'd want to go in and add those. Um, also after the text comes on there's another little lens flare here that kind of shoots in this direction you can kind of see it there and it just kind of flares and dies kind of slides over a little bit as it's dying okay so now let's work on our secondary animation and what happens is you're here and this one goes back down smaller and this one goes down smaller as along with the text um, now one thing I don't like is their text is still here but the background's almost gone. I don't like that timing. Um, in my opinion that shouldn't be happening. Um, when you have text on a background like that I really feel that you should time the animation such that your text is gone <coughs> either at the same time or a moment before. Um, 
maybe I'm wrong because I'm certainly no expert but uh, so we need to animate those out and so then we need to animate some stuff back in now another thing that they're doing here is notice how this is animating in scale but the position also jumps so we're not going to do that um, we're going to do it a little differently so let's get back into After Effects now um, making this box scale down is going to be easy and the uh, main title background that'll also be easy so we'll start with the main title background and we're going to bring up our keyframes we have for scale we are going to select those keyframes we're going to copy those keyframes I'm gonna go out to around eight seconds or so and I'm going to paste those keyframes and then I'm going to time reverse them and what that's gonna do is it's going to reverse my animating in and make it an animating out so boom that was pretty easy wasn't it okay and here's my main title I'm gonna bring up my scale keyframes I'm going to do the exact same thing copy the keyframes paste the keyframes and reverse the keyframes now that happens a little too quick so I'm gonna slide these down and I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit on this because I want this to just be one step ahead of the background so I could actually maybe go another frame and that I like so okay now on to our small blue background let's look at our scale um, our keyframes are down here so I'm going to copy those and I want to bring up my main title keyframes for scale and I want this to happen at the same time so I'm going to use my J and K keys to make sure I'm right on those keyframes whoops 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 um, click on the right layer and paste those keyframes and then reverse them time reverse so now my blue and black are animating out at the same time and that is good I'm going to go get my your watching I'm going to bring up my scale I'm going to copy the keyframes and I'm going to paste and reverse those keyframes and so if I look here my timing is a little bit off because I want these to happen a moment before and let's see that's good okay all right now um, the way I set this up we pre-comped our small our uh, small blue background and our we didn't pre-comp our main title background um, but we can duplicate it so I'm going to rename this one and I'm going to rename it uh, main title background one and then I'm going to duplicate it so that it's called main background title 2 and I'm going to click on this U for the keyframes and I'm going to make this uh, animation a little bit smaller so I'm gonna bring these keyframes in and then I'm gonna slide the whole layer down 
Now one thing that I can do is I can take this layer, we're done with it, and I can just make it shorter like that. And what this is going to do is bring out our uh, second little title thing here. Now one thing I want you to notice, the second title is different than the first title. So when this comes out, notice how far it comes this way. Um, but the first title is longer and it comes out farther here. So this one's shorter. Um, so let's keep that in mind. We'll click on this layer and can we just do this? Yes, we can. So we're just going to shorten it up like that. All right. And actually, that created a new scale keyframe. So that's not actually what I want. So I'm going to undo that. Um, I'm going to go to, uh, I can use my K to go, or is it J, to go back to this keyframe. And I want this to be shorter. And this is going to change that keyframe. The only problem is this keyframe also needs to be changed. So I'm going to select, copy, use my K to go to that keyframe, and paste. So now this title area is smaller and it doesn't wander on me so that fixed that and we have our secondary um, our secondary text area so what I can do is come up here um, actually let's work on our small blue background so we'll come up here and what I need to know is I'm going to duplicate um, I'm going to duplicate in my project the small uh, blue background and I want to bring this down and I'll put it above the other one and slide it down I'm going to bring up the scale and actually get rid of that. I don't want those keyframes in there. And something happened. So something has happened to my okay. I did I mess something up here. I need my small blue background two. Okay. Um, bring up my scale and there is no scale so that's fine I don't need it to be here so what I need to do is go to where this one And I need to find out what this is. So let's see. It's not that. It's not that. It is my. Okay. So it's my small black. It's my small background, which is fine because that actually is going to come up here and get resized. Um, and using J and K with this layer selected I want to be on that first keyframe 
come back down here and I want to change my scale quite a bit. Um, actually I need to know where this is because I need to line this up right there. And I know that this needs to be quite a bit shorter and This one just says the word new. So let's go take a look. There's you're watching, and then this is the new. So I just want to make sure my height is about the same, and they are. So, yeah, they're pretty close. Um, what I am going to do looks like this one is a hair lower. So, there we go. Slide this back down, and actually, it needs to come down. There we go. All right, so now we need to just animate this. Go back up here, make sure I'm on the same keyframe again. And this one, I need to scale. Um, we're going to go to the end keyframe first set my keyframe. We're going to go back to the other first keyframe and go to zero. So that now they're both animating at the same time. The only problem is I need to move my anchor point of my small blue two background. Okay. And one more time, make a keyframe. Zero. We should be good. And those are both animating back on. And then, of course, uh, you can either duplicate your titles up here and just animate them the same or uh, do what you want for that. I hope you have learned a lot. Um, I'm not going to go over animating the, new, the other titles on. It's the exact same as animating the first titles on. So there you go. Let's go ahead, go up to 100% and just take a look. You are watching main title. And that animates off and back on. And there we go. Um, post any comments you have down below. Uh, I hope you've learned a few things, working mostly with shape layers, a little bit of masking, um, animating some scale from a corner, and uh, Hey, watch some television, break it down, check it out. Till next time.